Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite to expose when Jonas, I'm the man on the stage. You are. And we're playing Monster Hunter World. Oh, you're hunting them monsters. I was running out of air there. I had like a half burp coming, and I like was <laughs> trying to finish the intro, and I was like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm not giving you mouth to mouth. I don't care what <laughs> tactics you try. It's not happening. You've learned the way into my brain. There was a big update on this game just recently. Really? Every time we play, there's an update. Dude, this game stays up on its updates. Really? It's like Overwatch. Maybe uh, that's why you like uh, these two games. Uh, I mean, Overwatch is like Blizzard good with updates. This game, like, there's an update <laughs> like every month. Oh, wow. What's the biggest? Oh, look at your little weapon. But don't you ever say such condescending Holy things about ish, my weapon. Holy what happened to it? So, this is part of the update. There's uh there's always been like the layered world there hasn't always been but there's the layered armor this is the new look that I'm rocking mm. I like it because I kind of look uh kind of like tribal kind of thing African or whatever okay I'm black I can do it <laughs> um <laughs> and they recently added a whole bunch of uh layered weapons so now you can t make your weapon look like any of the other weapons in the game this oh. has always been one of my favorite looks for the hunting horn. And now I get to rock it. And I feel like it kind of completes the look. It man. does. Wait, 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 wait. How how did you know it was a look even though you weren't able to use it before? I don't get what you mean. Because every monster has a weapon that's associated with them for every single weapon. So there's a there's a sword for this this the monster that this weapon belongs to. There's a a bow for this monster that or the monster that this weapon Oh, skin? The, yeah, the skin. Oh, okay. So like you've so seen other weapons with this skin but never been able to use it on that weapon. No. Okay. So, so I'm using the same weapon that I was before. Right. I know that. But it just looks like a weapon that belongs to a different monster. And that but is new. So like, Let's wait, so you can take, I, I, wait, isn't that what I said? I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't understand. So like, it's like another, like another weapon, like a sword looks like that. No, this is a hunting horn. It is just a hunting horn that looks like a different hunting horn. Isn't that just essentially a skin? Yeah, okay, you can say that, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, okay. it's, it's I was like, wait, okay, yeah, we were kind of like talking about the same thing, but different. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this boy. Yeah, this is the new... Okay, so this is um, Klovi Toroth. Klov de Toroth. I don't know how to pronounce its name. Every, okay. Everybody just calls him her KT or... or I call her Katie. Because you want to be different? No, because... Yeah, I guess so. I even spell it Katie on stream. I don't know if anybody Oh, wow, so it. it has like a ram's head. Yeah, so she is made of gold, oh. and she was a part of the first like raid that this game had okay they, or the siege i think we did uh, a little bit of the uh, yeah i think we did the one siege yeah, yeah yeah i think we were sieging and uh she is a little she's a little minx dude oh wow she's she, slutty she's a little minx i didn't say anything about slutty i don't know why why you always take it there, but that's cool. I she's a loose woman, dude. <laughs> that's not what minx means. Minx just means like she's got spunk. Oh, she's okay. Got, she's got pizzazz. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> You're going to look up what a little minx is? Make, sure, little, you, little. make sure you spell it right. She's M -I -N -X, spunky. M-I-N-X, right? Yeah, that's pretty sure. Yeah. I don't right, think it's the right. CK one or the I and K. Yeah, she it doesn't mean that she's a prostitute, though. Like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second. What does it mean? An impudent, cunning, or boldly flirtatious girl or young woman. Yeah, but that didn't say that she's spreading it open and <laughs> slapping it against any crotch <laughs> in the building. I didn't see that in the definition. <laughs> Let me look at her dictionary. Just because she's disobedient and flirtatious, Jonas, does not make see now. This is that toxic masculinity <laughs> that we're oh, trying. I'm the one with toxic masculinity. Yes. I don't have toxic masculinity. I'm just, I just battle toxic femininity, Jonas. Oh, There's a difference. Wow. So you, you, you aren't, you aren't a manist, you but, but you battle feminists. So. <laughs> No, I'm what's not a, a what's a male version of a feminist called? Uh misogynist. Misogynist. Well, I wouldn't even say that. I would say that there is no male version of a feminist. Like the male version of the feminist is like male culture. Because male yeah. culture kinda is feminist culture, like but is it no. Because like I, you know what I heard the other day? What's that? I heard that the uh the situation is yes. affecting 
way more men than it is than it does women. Really? And How's it, that? I don't know. It just is. <laughs> just look just at statement. <laughs> just look. <laughs> Mars is green, bitches. Why? Because <laughs> it is. It, it's, it is scientifically proven, Jonas. I've heard it on on countless media mediums. And if it is the truth, Jonas, which, you know, truth not facts, it's the truth to me. Where's our, where's our, where's our, uh, our, like, our rally? Where's our, uh, where's the, uh, the parade for us? Where's the, be, where's the benefit dinner? Well, because we out here dying and stuff, man. Um, we don't okay. get one. Well, yeah, but I think it's the same reason, and I don't want to, like, bring race good, into this. Good that, like, that, that people don't have, like, a white pride parade. <laughs> it's like you don't have a man oh, yeah. celebration parade because oh, yeah. men already aren't the affected group. We're going to try again. Okay. That sucks. But does that make sense what I'm saying? Like yeah. like like the the people who are in the position of power Wow. don't can't go out and be like where's our festival <laughs> when you oh, don't wow. have the you know what I mean? It's like wow. Men already have Well, you know when you put it like that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a similar thing. <laughs> Does that mean that women is niggas? I'm just asking for a friend. No, but I, I get what you mean. But when you said that, the first thing I thought of was like, yeah, that'd be like, that'd be yeah, like a okay. bunch of old rich white dudes being like, we we need a parade too because we have hard lives. And you're uh, like, bitch, get the fuck. Uh, oh my god, I forgot we're doing that because <laughs> uh, we're talking about like podcast tape topics. You, you know what I mean? Like it's like you get like Trump and Bloomberg out there like. Okay. Where's our parade? Okay. Okay. So <laughs> even okay. So fine. That was that was a bad a bad argument. Okay. <laughs> it does not. No. 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 Hold up. Hold on. Hold. It I didn't think it was that bad. Of an it argument. was Jesus. a bad argument because when you put it like that, I kind of understand. Like, but even still. Okay. <laughs> even still, I feel like I'm gonna start sounding like a Republican here. A boomer, booming Republican <laughs> over there. I'm even sitting, still, sitting here with George Bush. Even still, I do feel like. There is an air of toxic femininity. Just because one side may not receive the recognition that the other side does, does not mean that they are not subject to the same perversions, Jonas. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, there's, there's, a, there's a toxic side to every group. You know, it's like, yes. I'm all about LGBTQ rights, but there's a toxic side to that, too. Well, I'm you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to I'm not going to comment on that. You can but like, like go you said, out on that the ledge. Same, the same thing with like all by yourself. with femininity. There's 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 a femi feminist do a lot of good things. But like you said, there's toxic femininity, too. There's I'm not speaking for all women when I make these complaints, but I am definitely saying is that there is a certain subset of women that I feel that a, a lot of us have come in contact with as men where it's just uh, entitlement on a certain level where they expect a certain type of behavior. They expect to be appeased. Yeah, but doesn't every group feel that? So, don't some members of every group feel like that? Whether it's whether it's women, whether it's like LGBTQ, whether it's like okay, yeah, but Jonas, but listen, we we're not. I'm not. I don't want to bring in. Things I'm not talking bad about anyone. I'm just saying that there's 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 a good side and a bad side to every group. Even the church, man. There's a good side and a bad side. Yeah, but we're, we're okay. We can talk about the good and the evil that lies in the hearts of men, or we could talk about how <laughs> these women can make themselves better. Oh. Because I feel like a lot of these other things that you're talking about don't necessarily impact me. And while, yes, Jonas, it is a travesty that I'm not looking into the more with a more uh, detailed microscope, these issues that don't affect me. <laughs> but I don't care about how a homosexual dude feels about his boyfriend. <laughs> Right? I don't care about how the Catholic Church is asking you to pay tithes in, in the middle of an epidemic. But I do care about how these women have been treating us for years. Wow. Because you've been, get, you been getting treated bad by women when it, no, I mean, not even so, not even me so much, but I feel like it does affect a lot of my brethren. Okay, okay. So you're like, you're fighting for the cause. Yes. Okay, I got you. Okay, because I was trying to see where you were coming from. Yeah, man, I'm not trying to get women up out of here, <laughs> but I am trying. If I can open the eyes of somebody by saying, hey, look, the way this girl is acting all emotional 
and she is making you either the the catalyst or you you have to reap the uh not the benefits what's the opposite of a benefit the detriment <laughs> of her lack of con- self control what not only would it not swing if the tables were turned but it should not swing because you don't have to accept that Right. That's, that's, and, oh, okay. you, so, and I feel so, like we've all encountered that. Well, so it basically all comes back to it doesn't matter if you're man or woman, essentially. It's more of like control yourself. And if you can't control yourself, you, there ain't an excuse of why you can't control yourself. Exactly. So whether it's a man or woman, it's exactly. not a man or woman issue. It's a control yourself. Don't don't get out of control. Because mm, mm. there's men out there who because see, here's the thing. Here's the, I love playing devil's advocate to anything because it's, it's, it's great. Because like, mm. there's another side to that coin. So like for the woman who loses control of her emotions and, and you have to take that, there's the man who loses control of his anger and she has to take that. Yes. Because we don't lose our cool for emotion as much as they do, but they don't lose their mind as much for anger as we do. Yes. But on the same note, who's really talking about the things that women can do to fix their side of this whole we need to fix oh like there's all anger management he needs to yeah there's plenty of people out there talking about hey look man you can't do that there's aa there's like help and like as soon as you go to a psychiatrist it's gonna be like you know i got you okay to me i just feel like is that the, the the relationship niche niches that have been set aside okay i don't feel like it's beneficial to us name one holiday that is for the guy. Father's Day. <laughs> that look you gave me. <laughs> it like, don't count because there's a direct ancillary. They cancel each other out. Because of fun. Name right. another. Oh, one. I see what you mean that there's a Mother's Day. Yes. Uh, Name one. That benefits. Valentine's Day is not for us. Christmas ain't for us. Halloween. Halloween is not for us. We don't care Thanksgiving. about Thanksgiving. We get to eat food and watch football. You got to stay out of the kitchen right, and dude. thank and thank all the women for the, what they did. Well, that's a, I mean, they did a lot. <laughs> that's not our holiday. We just get oh, to I, eat. St. Patrick's Day. That ain't for us. That ain't, that ain't a holiday. Anyway. <laughs> it's not. There are no holidays for us. There's none. Yeah. Sweetest day is just bull crap. Somebody, when I'm uh, never gonna my get into ex-girlfriend a uh, told me that there is a day. It's like steak and BJ day. It's like it's like Man. a it's like that ancillary to Valentine's Day because it's like the day that the guys are supposed to get pampered yeah. and get steaks and BJs. Yeah, well, you want to know what she made that up, and she is you know a benefit to the cause, Jonas, because at least she made up a holiday that was beneficial to guys. Oh, I didn't but benefit from it, so you didn't get a steak <laughs> or a BJ that day. No, no, she talked about how I missed it, and I was like, I didn't even know what? that was. A thing. <laughs> she yeah. she about just wanted to talk about you... how how I could have had something awesome and didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so i don't know like honestly and it's not like i'm looking for a handout as, as right, a right, man. i'm not because i guess to a certain extent i do kind of realize that we we do well, have the upper hand and it's funny because the, the 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 point you're making about how we don't have holidays is the same point i've heard people make about um like people who um it's, you know, I try to be very grounded in, like, in the cultural awareness, like, you know, like, racism and all that stuff. And I've heard, you know, people on the side of the coin, like, saying, like, um, you know, like. Black words, History Month. Well, you know, like, well, people, not even that, essentially. Well, I mean, that, yeah, or whatever, just saying, you know, you know, people complain because there's a this or a that. And they're like, well, yeah, but all the rest of the time it isn't that is your time. You know, it's like it's like dudes being like, oh, I want a holiday. And they're like, but every day of your life you don't have to deal with the same issues that. These people, you know, and people will do that for race or for whatever. Like, is it the same thing? In a way, it's not directly the same, but it's it's the same concept. It's like, why do men need a holiday when just every general day of the year, men aren't really facing all these issues that women are facing or whatever because of, and we don't even realize they're facing them because we're men and we don't have to deal with the things they have to deal with. And look, and I can understand that on a larger, more social level. But on the level I'm speaking on is more of just like an interpersonal, like me dealing with this individual or you dealing with this one individual. Right. You're just talking people, like just human, human. at the human level. 
Right. And, it, and that's the problem, I think, with all these different causes is everyone gets so far away from the general, like, humanity imagine. level of it. It all is so specific, whether it's, like, to a woman or a straight man or a gay man or a white man or a black man or a white woman or a black woman or a gay woman or it's like we're all human if you think about it in a human scale like just be good to each other don't be dicks is it is it is it <laughs> is it wrong that women make less than us jonas yeah i think i think here's the thing i think people should get paid on their skill whether you're white black brown woman man transgender whatever if you're good at the job you should make the best pay a him to that. <laughs> like, it, I don't care if you have seven eyes and you're purple. If you're the best effing salesman, you're going to make the most money at my company. A him. Period. A him, my brother. Right. Like, it's. I think it's BS that just because you're one thing or another that you make less money. I think that's trash. Absolutely. Um, but, but systemically, <laughs> that's that's the way that thing is. Yeah, and that's going. getting a lot better, but, but still not where it should be. I, 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 How do you yeah. feel about that? How do I feel about what? Do I think women should be making as much as us? Yeah. 100%. Okay, good. I thought you were just trying to put me into a... <laughs> Where did you think I thought you were trying to lay me a trap like you do or something. No. no. I, I refuse to be labeled as the household misogynist. <laughs> I refuse to be labeled You don't want to be the dick guy. You don't want to be the misogynist. <laughs> what, do, what do you want to be? I can't. I'm not that guy. What do I want to be? I want to be the guy who... Forces different views about about your own livelihood, and I just I just feel like it's not even like a, a, a case of discrimination. Like I don't feel like guys are being discriminated against. Okay. I just feel is that in a relationship, and this is a, a relationship that is is I feel like different from the society on a strong on a on a larger level. Okay. Because it's an interpersonal. Right. It's right. almost like it's like the relationship you have with other people in your family. I feel like if other people in my family approach me the way that I've been approached by some females, yo, <laughs> I'm not talking to these people, man. Jonah, you were there when I had a young lady basically yell at me because I said I was going to go home, and she, I mean, I guess somewhere in her mind, she expected me that I was supposed to just have sex with her that night. Wait. And she was like, where are you going? Wait, that, you, oh, she yelled at you? I mean, I know the situation. I guess I didn't realize that she was like. She was like, yeah, where are you going? You've been out here all, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, woman, like, if I had come off like that, it would not have been. Oh, good. like if the, if the table is reversed and like you're like you're, yeah. you weren't even dating that person, you were like exactly. you had hung out a few times. Yeah, like if you had her come over here to a party and she hung out and wasn't hanging out with you, was like socializing, and then she yeah. went to leave, and you were like, "Where, Where are you, you going? going? Why don't you in my bedroom?" Like, I Yo. thought you were like, okay. I this is where this is where this is where my my disapproval it takes place. Okay, that's a great scenario because it was like it's like she expected you to have sex with her where if you would have expected her to have sex with you mm. it, it would have came across a lot i, I kind of feel like i would have received the same treatment that i gave her which was basically like i laughed at her <laughs> i got my coat and i laughed <laughs> well, <laughs> because that's what it deserved as well, far right. as well, i'm it, concerned it would be a different situation if she was your girlfriend you guys have been dating for six months like but you were you guys would just were like uh talking, yeah so you know and I do have kind of an issue with, like, I kind of feel like a relationship is never in danger um, until the woman's unhappy. Oh, yeah? I feel like a, a lot of guys are kind of living on that, like, you know, happy wife, happy life, but happy husband, what? That it doesn't even have a, a cute little saying that goes with it because it does. Because your, happy happy your happiness happy, doesn't matter. Has be happy husband, solo loving. <laughs> yeah, but that's just saying, oh, yep, yeah, you're happy, but guess what? <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you ain't got no chick. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, dude, I, I understand. Well, I mean, but like. But the it, it, what? Go ahead. And it's it. not the average. Yeah, I, I, no, I get it. I get what you're saying. You do get what I'm saying. I mean, I was married. Thank you. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Emphasis on the was. But you know what? I had. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was married. Emphasis on the was. <laughs> Sing 
<laughs> Single Jonas, happy Jonas. <laughs> Amen to that. But dude, you know, but I think it's like, <laughs> I think it's a mentality thing too, because like it's it's like a lot of it's like, because uh, there's like a there's if you look at like guys as a whole, if you try to break down guys down into a percentage, the percentage of guys who feel comfortable enough to think that they that they could get any woman not any woman but get a woman anytime they want and are good enough and whatever and like and can just if they have a woman start putting up giving them stuff they don't like and feel free to walk away is a is a low percentage a lot of guys feel <laughs> like if they get into a relationship and women do it too but i feel like a lot of guys feel that way it's, it's like well this they're like well this is what i got you know, it's like they don't feel like they could do better. Yes. When in, reality, in actuality, is all you're doing is shortcoming, giving your like, undercutting yourself because while you're staying in something that you aren't happy doing, you're missing out on any other opportunity. That's and out there. I guess therein lies my problem is that like, women have just kind of like I don't want to say that that they had like like they were in a lab thinking this up like sitting at a circular table trying to <laughs> figure out a way to uh, they're in the the women mothership yeah i'm not <laughs> trying to say if that's what that's what happened but <laughs> there is definitely like it's been set up for years like i remember in the 90s it used to be like a joke that women didn't enjoy uh intercourse and oh. it was like like the guy would always be trying to get the intercourse but the girl was like no i'm good Yo, I, it took me very, very short period of time to realize that women like it better than... They have more intense orgasms. I don't understand. Like, besides the fact that guys are so thirsty and throwing themselves that yeah. I feel like they've kind of lowered the price of D on the stock market. <laughs> the, the supply of D is out of control. <laughs> There's so much D going around. Nobody's buying high. Right. And that's the problem is like... And I think a lot of guys think that way. They're like, well, if, if like if I don't do what she wants, she can just go find some other D somewhere else. Easy. I mean, and amen, but guess what? There's 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 a ton of vagina out there too. There's yeah, but a lot of guys ton. have that low self esteem. It's all it all comes back to self esteem, man. With women and men. Women stay with guys that beat but, them. Men but, stay with guys men stay with women who who degrade them. Okay, and but where does self esteem come from? Self esteem it, yourself. Self-esteem is learned behavior, Jonas. Yeah. It's, you, I just mean, as much as you have to train yourself to have better self-esteem about yourself, you are trained into having low self-esteem. Women are trained into having higher self-esteem more than men. I find that to be a problem to the point where they feel like they have an upper hand. But let it be known, Jonas, that if it were ever like men versus women on the field of, of battle no guns just like fists and swords or something Jonas who's who's winning that <laughs> who's winning that <laughs> I'm getting into something totally different yeah now. you are <laughs> yeah I'm not saying we're better that is the last thing I want to I want to I want you to take from this I'm not saying that men are better I'm saying is that any group that is given as much, uh, I don't want to say favoritism, but any group that's given more upper hand is going to pervert it on a larger, a large enough scale. Right. It's like the whole thing about power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Women don't have absolute power. Your freaking horns fell off, bro. Oh my god, he looks weird. <laughs> I know, look at him. He looks like a butt. <laughs> oh, he has like a giant V on his head. But women have a lot more power, and a lot more power corrupts a lot more, Jonas. Yeah. All right? but, and you know, and there's exceptions to all those rules. There's like, one thousand. Because for the for the um, every like marriage that like you know the woman runs the household and whatever, there's a, there's definitely a household where the man what the man says goes. Yes. And that's it. And there's that's it. Period. Yes. You know, mom's in charge when dad's not home. When dad's home, he's in charge of everything. Yes. And there are women who adhere to some of those uh, social norms or whatever. Yeah. And I don't necessarily even agree with that. What I would like to see, what I'm actually advocating here for is a little bit more equality but I, I just 
I feel like we get involved with, or I feel like the other sex is allow, allowed to get away with a lot more, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, mental, mental abuse. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Did he understand>? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know God dang well that a woman a woman could say some crazy ish to you and it was just, it would be okay. Keep it together, okay. But I feel like we can't get away with saying the same crazy ish and it's not and like it's not about it's not like on that I guess it, it kind of is cuz I'm talking about all men and women when I talk about it like that. I I don't know, Jonas. It it bothers me to a certain extent. I haven't been in a relationship in a while. And a lot of you are at home are like, oh, of course not. Listen to the way you're talking. Well, <laughs> you. <laughs> are they calling you an incel yet? <laughs> they might. <dude. laughs> they <laughs> might. Uh, no, nah, dude. I, I get it, man. It's like there's a lot of like. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, but it's it's just weird, man. It's like it depends what what's what. Uh, what segment of people you're looking at you know it's yeah because like, i try to keep it on the smallest level of just like you and your girlfriend or your wife or something mm -hmm. and i do feel like there are some there's some good women out there a hundred percent yeah well it's all about what you put up with too it's like mm -hmm. it's like enablement is is just as bad as like it the habit itself you know and, what I mean? It's like that, that's a hundred percent right. Like if your if your son lives with you and he's an alcoholic and you're buying him beer every time you go to the store, who's prop? Who's really help? Who's are you helping him? No, well, you're you, bringing him on beer every day. That's very true. <clears throat> that's true. Jonas, you know I don't put up with no right. Crap. Exactly, and it's like if <laughs> I really don't. You, you, I mean, you're probably on the the far side of one of the sides of the scale. Like <laughs> you think? I don't really feel Dude. like that's the case. I feel like. I just I I give out a certain degree of respect, so I expect it in return. And, well, right, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And the the problem is, oh, so many beautiful. people don't do that that it's it's weird to people because not weird in a like, but they're just like, oh, like you 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 expect me to respect you, and if I disrespect <laughs> you, and you're just like, <laughs> I'm done. I don't know you just because I just because we've shared the same bed. Does not mean that you have carte blanche to treat me with any less respect than you would anybody else? Other That's than, what, yeah, right. Other, like, just because, because I've, I've been inside you doesn't mean you could treat me Whoa, any worse than, sir. like, <laughs> than, uh, than, like, you, if, like. You always have to say it in the crassest <laughs> way possible, don't you? <laughs> just because I've been inside of you. <laughs> Jesus. I said share the same bed. You say been inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. Try it. <laughs> it is cool. It's like, not. But like, it's like, I in that I've I've always had a big issue with like I I'll put up with like stuff, but like oh, disrespect yeah. is like not one that I put up with. Like that will that will make me very like. I try to let most stuff go, man, because I I try to believe in the good in people. But like disrespect is something that I don't stand for. Like if you if you're gonna wild out on me for no GD reason. And not be accountable about that. I am oh my God! Accountability, dude. Accountability. Yeah, that's a big. One. I'm big on accountability. Oh and God. people who aren't accountable hate when people hold them accountable to stuff. Oh my God! It's like you just called their mom up. W word. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the worst thing? No. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I I feel like. I could go a whole. I do a whole episode on accountability. <laughs> I feel like toxic masculinity is is used so much anymore that it's like it's like a meme. But we ain't really discussing the fact that if there can be a toxic of one thing, there can be a toxic of another thing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. I think I think every everything has a toxic side just like everything absolutely. has a has a really like soft and wonderful side absolutely and just because we are uh, uh, mm, <clears throat> mm, yeah i don't know man uh, i guess i guess that's all i got there's a bell curve that. to everything man yes yes there are people on both sides final and... point bell curve everywhere some curves are higher than others flatten the curve folks <laughs> flatten the curve yeah don't don't be a D to your girlfriend, and if you're a female and you're watching, hey, look, man, just realizes that you could do better in yourself. 
All right. <laughs> I was gonna say, just you... tell every woman watching their boyfriend ain't good. Enough. No, I'm saying tell. I'm, I'm telling them they could be a better person. <laughs> we all could be better people. Hey, Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. You just gotta not put up with that ish, dude. If but you I... ain't happy. Life ain't life too short to be unhappy, and I I live that life. I I, uh, I just wonder if <clears throat> well done. I don't know, man. It's hard to uh, constructively criticize a female. I kind of, I kind of feel that way. I oh, feel yeah. like, I feel like a woman could tell me that a, a yo, that shirt's not really hitting, fam, and I'd be like, oh, really? Oh, I'll have to take that in consideration. Whereas I was to tell a woman that that blouse ain't really, you know, ain't really doing it for me. Happy wife, happy life, you know. Yeah, but like I think, I think in that situation. So we've been giving these broads participation trophies. Their whole life. <laughs> we we're holding women back by not telling them that that dress ain't hidden. We're holding them back. <laughs> Do you realize what you just said? Go out there and tell a woman that she need to clean it up. From a someone bit. coming around that says, "I don't want to be known as the misogyny guy." We've been given these broads participation <laughs> trophies, is what you just it said. Was, that was kind of, that was, there's a little facetiousness in there, right? I hope so. Because <laughs> if not, air. you're the misogyny guy. I'm not the misogyny guy. All right, on the next episode. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back with something the, the more PC. The views of TNT Dynamite are not the views of the Chris Here, here they are. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure yes, to like and subscribe. They are. If you've already done that, go see TNT Dynamite on Twitch because he forgot to tell you earlier. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. TNT underscore TNT Dynamite, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town Media at Twitch.tv. Come see me every morning at 9.30, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I'm there. Yeah, Something. just tell him. One day he'll get the he'll get the name right too. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you said TNT Dynamite. You said TNT underscore Don't TNT end episode. Dynamite <laughs> underscore Crazy Town. TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town, twitch.tv. <laughs> For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one, we. Oh, horror, oh,